we can modify the critical pressure formula to establish um, the critical pressure in the fan. So when we plug in the numbers for P3, which we had seen previously was 64 kilopascals, and we know that the uh, efficiency of the fan was uh, 95%. So when we plug those numbers in, we get a value for the critical pressure of 32.88 kilopascals. So what that is saying is, well, here my pressure is uh, 64 kilopascals. The ambient pressure out here is uh, 23 pa kilopascals, and the critical pressure is 32.88. In other words, for the gas to get from here out to this point here, to expand from 64 out to the uh, 23 kilopascals area, we're going to have to go through this critical pressure. And that means that th at the critical pressure, the velocity of the gas is going to go uh, supersonic. So we're going to assume that it goes supersonic here at the nozzle. Okay, so we're going to assume a choked nozzle. To determine the temperature uh, of a choked nozzle, now uh, we use the critical temperature uh, formula. So when we um, transpose that, we can get a value for the critical temperature. And when we plug the values in, we had previously calculated that the temperature at station three, uh, which is here, was 294 Kelvin. So when we plug that in, we get that the critical temperature is 245 uh, degrees Kelvin. So that's very useful for us because as we already stated, the velocity of the gas here is now Mach 1. So if the velocity of gas is Mach 1, the speed of sound is 1, and the speed of sound A is equal to gamma times R, the universal gas constant, times the temperature. So when I plug the values in, I get a velocity of gas out of the fan to be 314 meters per second.